this is uh, my critique and review of my Atari C-130 assembly. Uh, basically, turns out what I could have done instead of having all these LEDs in here, I could have used SMD LEDs, which are about the size of a pinhead, instead of having these things sticking out everywhere. Could have used them. They take a... They're really, really small, so they're a lot harder to solder, but oh well. I think the whole point would have been, instead of having this board here with these big holes sticking out, that all these wires got to come through. I could have had two wires going up here for power. Powered a small Arduino, which is about the size of the pin itself. Had the wires running off it. Just a little flat board here just soldered them all together the thing I would have still had to do probably would have these switches here mounted somewhere on the bottom but they wouldn't have to be connected back out they could just be you could turn the plane upside down flip these switches and turn whatever lights on that you wanted see the different lights come on when you flip different switches So anyway, I think the the motor parts down in here could have divided been divided up and I could have put each motor's part set inside of here on each motor and just run power wires or control wires from the Arduino and power to each little individual transistor down in there powering the motors. So, basic review, could have had just two wires running out for power, hooked everything up to that, divided all the parts up, and hit them in there a little bit better. But oh well, this is what I got, and I'm not doing it again probably. I do think I just the whole idea of running this thing opening the door so I could have my little car run out. That was the whole point. And that worked, so oh well. There you got it. Miniaturization is the future. Na-dee-da, yeah, I'm too old to solder them little dots. Goodbye.